Palmetto Low Country Behavioral Health serves South Carolina with access to mental health and substance abuse services in a caring and confidential environment. With me in the studio today to talk about the prevalence and prevention of anxiety is the Director of Outpatient Services, Millicent Taylor. Millicent, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So nowadays, it kind of feels like you can't even get through the day without someone talking about how anxious they are, the anxiety they have. Why is this? Why is anxiety so prevalent? Well, anxiety is just a normal emotion that we all have. Um, it's when it, it gets in the way of your daily living that is when it becomes a problem. And then it, you might have what we call an anxiety disorder. So for people watching who may be dealing with these anxious thoughts, what's the first step in reducing this anxiety? So I would say small uh, changes in your lifestyle. Um, you know, even just something as simple as getting up and taking a small walk before you go and get your day started mm -hmm. just to clear your mind um, versus that rushing around that a lot of people do mm -hmm. um, getting ready for work. Um, so just take small changes. So really, it, it can be small. You don't have to, you know, do anything too crazy to, to kind of curb these thoughts that come into your mind. And you always hear also mindfulness. Is this another way to, to kind of curb these thoughts? Yes, yeah, so mindfulness, we teach that um, in our outpatient uh, programs. And it's just being self-aware, mm -hmm. like knowing how you're feeling in the moment, where are these thoughts coming from. So then we teach coping strategies um, on how to reduce that anxiety that you're feeling. Um, and it's something as simple as learning deep breathing strategies mm -hmm. or how to ground yourself. If these small changes aren't working, how do you know when it's time to seek professional health? So if you, if you think that your anxiety uh, is getting in the way of your daily living, um, then that's when you're going to need to seek some help. Um, an example would be uh, someone that goes and waits all day and doesn't go to the grocery store until late, late at night just to avoid crowds. Maybe they have social anxiety. What are some options for people struggling with anxiety? Um, you know, you can go to your primary care physician and, and tell them what you're feeling and what your symptoms are. Um, you can seek out an individual therapist or a psychiatrist. Um, and then you can also go to like an outpatient program like we have at Palmetto Low Country Behavioral Health. Um, where it's a group therapy setting and we're gonna teach you all kinds of coping strategies to deal with anxiety and depression. So you serve people from all over South Carolina so we they sure can do. they can call you and they can get some help with you guys. Yeah, so um, if you call our number, um, we can get you in for a cost a no cost uh, assessment and they will direct you into the level of care that you need. Millicent, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. And you can find how to contact them on your screen now. If you or a loved one is struggling with mental health, please reach out to Palmetto Low Country Behavioral Health. They are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to discuss treatment options and schedule confidential no-cost assessments.